Good morning. Hello. Welcome to North Newbold, which is just about 17 miles uh, west of Beverly in East Yorkshire. And I'm here because there's a five and a half mile walk I can do this morning, uh, which I just found in my book. And it's only like a 17 uh, minute drive from where I live. So I had no idea this place existed. I've never been here. Uh, apparently it has a really nice church over here. I can show you this. This is known by people who live here as the whipping stone. In the books, it describes how a cross used to be, it used to have a cross on it. And against that cross, uh, a man was tied and whipped it to death in the early 1700s or the mid 1700s. Uh, is that true? Who knows? Going to the guidebook, this pub here, the, the GNU or the New Inn used to be the old inn, but then <laughs> they made it into a new one. And then here is the North Newbold Church, which is a Norman church, and apparently a fine example of a Norm Norman church. I'm going to be saying apparently a lot. But over here, to my delight, they have a maypole. And if you're not familiar with what a maypole is, how it works is a person grabs one of the ribbons, like one of the coloured ribbons, and then does a dance. And as they dance, they interweave, dance amongst each other and go round and round in circles. And eventually the pole just gets covered in the ribbons in an interesting pattern. Apart from that, I don't know anything about maypoles. I'm a huge fan of churches. I don't know how we describe this to classify it as Norman. I'm the wrong person to speak to about such things. But... It's kind of small, chunky, and very square looking. Very, very old. And slowly making my way out of North Newbold now. Uh, hitting the country lanes. <sighs> We're just heading out of, of the village and already starting to feel a bit more like countryside, which is one of the joys of villages. You turn a corner and you're in countryside. Uh, I'm looking for a little turning to the left. And in the distance there, I can see a sign, a finger sign, saying public footpath. The bad news is I'm seeing it's pointed to quite a, quite a hill. <laughs> There's the footpath sign pointing at the hedge. <laughs> um, and I go up here, I believe, to the top and uh, still on concrete, so I'm presuming there's a farm at the top of this. Have a look. I'm looking forward to getting off the concrete, I've got to be honest. Having a bad hair day today, as you can see. Lots of lots going on with the hair. Uh, I'm going to stick with it and see what develops. Both the chin hair and the hair hair. Uh, this incline is uh, a, a lovely workout. <laughs> I'm trying to be positive. It's lovely. It's like, I love this workout. I love it. I don't want to stand on the same spot and look at pretty countryside. I want to be working out, climbing a hill, getting in shape. <sighs> oh, I'm halfway already, so 
I guess the moral there is just get stuck in, get it done. Look at these flowers on, on here. I'm quite sure what they are. Mind you, I don't know any flowers. I think they're roses. But already you can see the, the countryside's unfolding. The folding hills of the wolds. Although I did start this walk in the middle of a village, it is actually in the book as being a very country walk. Lots of country. And I will end up back in that village from the other direction of the village. So it's a five and a half mile walk, which for me is, a, you know, above average. Uh, and I will, um, I'll never to, to crack it though. Probably stop in for breaks along the way. But as long as I'm out of breath, and I know that doesn't look like anything on camera, but this is probably a 20, 20 degree incline. Uh, but as long as I say, as long as I'm out of breath, I'm doing myself some good. So that's what I'm going to continue doing. Doing myself some good, mentally and physically. Hey, and I'll get back home and eat some chocolate biscuits to celebrate. Well, well, I'm at the top of the hill now, got my breath back, and I've come across this field, and I think it'll be okay, the farmer won't mind, if I just tread on this part here, which doesn't have any plants on it, the tractor's been on, just to show you how amazingly neat farming is. These are potatoes and just look how neat that is it's perfect they're going to be beauties in a way it feels like uh, it's too neat it almost looks like oh you can get another row in there you can because it's like they're like a meter each row is half a meter apart and I'm thinking oh you can get another row in there oh Right, so we're just going to walk up the edge of this potato field. <clears throat> on the other side, it looks like just wild. Again, you see the countryside, wind farm in the, in the distance. <sighs> the valley there. And oh, that's nice. When I was a kid, I used to go potato picking in Scotland. And what we would do is line up. We had each had like a, they, they weren't laid out like this. They were just in flat ground. And we were given like a couple of meters width and a big crate. And we had to fill up the crate or empty, pick all the potatoes up. And then the tractor would go down the line of us, move our crate another few meters forward. And then we'd pick up the next lot of potatoes. I think we got five pound a day. Whew. Best money ever. Well, a little bit along the field now, and these things have appeared on the horizon. And I love wind turbines. I just think they look so futuristic. And I think they complement the landscape a lot. I really like them. And I think I'll end up walking quite close to them. Um, but continuing on, the side of this potato field it's sort of undulating a little bit look at this here you know this is what i like about these walks is you kind of just go around a bend and the landscape changes so fast even though you're going so slow so we've come into a rapeseed field which hasn't quite gone very yellow yet but look how the the hills are just folding in on each other like you're stirring cream. If that makes any sense. I have to go down a little bit here. I keep right down into the valley. Well, it's already tempting to go down there towards the sun. I'll keep on target and do as I'm told by the book.
Normally I would hold the stick in my right hand, but because I'm filming, <coughs> it has to be in the left hand, which is not ideal. I don't really use the stick. The stick is just there for when I have to negotiate uh, like hillsides or whatever. It acts like a little railing, although I don't really need it. It's really comforting to have. I use it to push down on. It's, it just makes you a bit more off-road having these things. I should really have two. But I'm sacrificing that luxury to make this little film. Just coming to the bottom of the field now. And on the left is Sykes Farm, which I'm going to wager are responsible for these magnificent looking fields. The, the moss has certainly had a good pop at this public footpath sign which is telling me to go this direction, which is right through the foot of the wold or the valley. And uh, that's where I'm going. You know, I'm gonna stick my head out on a limb a little bit, or my neck rather, and, and say that this here is uh, rapeseed but I, I don't actually know. So if you know better, let me know. Maybe it isn't, because rapeseed tends to be much more yellow than that in this time of year. So maybe it isn't. But over here, I think is corn, which I can show you, which I, is, I think it is corn, because you can see it. It might be wheat. Again, I don't know. <laughs> Let me go down this way, see where it takes me. This has been cut, look. So I think this is just the farmer being decent. There's a horse ahead, which is very exciting. <clears throat> yeah, this feels right. In fact, there's confirmation on that pole there, the little yellow arrow and another one here just in case you weren't absolutely sure. And we're walking right through the, 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 the crease of the valley, the walls, very exciting. I'm very excited. No doubt you're very, very, very excited. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of horses. Never had a horse, nor do I want a horse. <coughs> There's a bit of, a thing going on at the moment about the idea of owning animals. <laughs> Whether you should actually own another life. You can own me by going to Patreon and buy me a cup of coffee. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the horse yet. It's looking right at me. Beautiful thing. Brown. Oh. oh, there's two. I can see it through the hedge here, look. Can you see the horsey? Hello. You're very attractive, but you smell. Hello. Bye then. Seriously, this is just so good. Such a good looking part of this walk. And I think particularly because it's late May, early June, first of June, actually. I'm just gonna shut up and let you enjoy it. Maybe I'll play a little bit of music for you on the old ukulele, or maybe the banjo. Yeah, let's try the banjo this time. 